Hi everyone, welcome to Canon Quick Tips. This is our newest series that we hope will help you learn more about your Canon gear and just maybe provide a little inspiration along the way. And in this episode, I'm gonna be talking about, hmm, what am I gonna be talking about again? Oh yeah, F what? Thanks for tuning in, Mason from Canon here, and let's learn about f-stops and aperture. First, let's start with aperture. Aperture is an adjustable opening inside your lens that allows light to pass through to the imaging sensor in the camera body. And the way you're able to control the amount of light or the size of the aperture is by changing the f-stop of the lens. F-stops are measured in increments. You may have heard that the smaller the f-stop number, the bigger the aperture. And the bigger the f-stop number, the smaller the hole. Here's a general scale of f-stops. 1.4, 2, 2.8, 4, 5, 6, 8, 11, 16, 22, 32. Did you notice every other number doubled? The scale is measured by an increase of one full stop. And just to clarify, it is one full stop from 1.4 to 2, and 2.8 to 4, etc. As you increase the amount of light by one stop, you are actually increasing the amount of light by doubling it. And as you decrease the amount of light by one stop, the light is being reduced by half. So, half, 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 double, double, double. Pro tip, if you even need more control of light, in some cameras you can change exposure increments from half stops to third stops. In most situations, lenses will have the maximum f-stop listed on the lens. For example, with the RF 50mm f1.2 L USM lens, the f-stop is here. Yep, right there as f1.2. I can open the aperture to its widest maximum aperture at f1.2, but what you don't see listed is the minimum aperture, and with the RF 50mm, it can close down to f16. But what does f1.2 mean, and why can't all lenses go to f1.2? An f-stop is relative to the actual lens because of the design and build. If I grabbed another lens, such as the RF 24cm f2.8 L, its maximum aperture is f2.8, and the minimum aperture is f22. What happens when you change the aperture? Well, aperture affects two important factors, exposure and depth of field. At 1.2, a wide open aperture allows the most light possible for that specific lens. And if I closed it down one stop to f2, as we've discussed, that reduces one stop of light or half the amount of light to pass through the lens. And if I closed it down to f8, that's reducing the amount of light even more by five stops. Eventually my exposure can get really dark. So why not always shoot as wide open as possible? We've got to consider our second factor, which is depth of field. Depth of field can also be thought of as how much is in focus from close to far. You see, if I take the RF 50 millimeter and shoot at 1.2, my depth of field will be very shallow. Now, if I change the aperture to f11, my depth of field increases. What else can you do to change the depth of field? You can either increase or decrease the distance between you and your subject. Recommendation. Try shooting in aperture priority to learn more about the way f-stops work. Putting it into practice. Try experimenting with different aperture settings to learn about different creative techniques to add depth into your images. Use a large aperture and shoot wide open to keep a subject tack sharp, but maybe blur out the background and eliminate distracting elements. This is creates what's known as bokeh, and one of the major reasons for having your own lens with a large aperture. Thanks for joining us on our first episode of Quick Tips. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And as always, please be sure to leave a comment or question down below, and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks again for joining us for our first quick tips. We'll be back again with another episode. Until then, keep having fun and thanks for watching. Mahalo.